Well, we still may have a few showers into the Cascades this morning. Otherwise, we're going to be looking pretty nice for the Willamette Valley and the Oregon coast as well. Although you'll see some clouds into the morning. Eventually, once we get to the afternoon, we'll see, start seeing some peaks of the sun. As we go through tonight, we'll see a little bit more cloud cover developing into parts of the Willamette Valley. Otherwise, it won't last as long and it'll be a very nice day all around the region for Monday with just some passing high clouds from time to time. Now we go through Tuesday, we'll start seeing a weak system approach the coast and we'll have a slight chance of seeing some showers along the Oregon coast. But as it heads inland, it's going to have a real hard time producing any kind of rainfall other than the uh, coast range. But we could see maybe a few, maybe sprinkles into the Willamette Valley as we go through the day on Tuesday. Just a bit more cloud cover and a little bit cooler in terms of temperatures. Now for the planner here in Eugene, we're going to be looking at temperatures into the low 60s for 9 o'clock. And then by lunchtime, temperatures climbing into the low 70s and then upper 70s by the time we're getting towards 5 o'clock. Now for Corvallis, we're going to be looking at, again, those morning clouds throughout the morning. Temperature about 78 with lots of sunshine into the late morning and into the afternoon. Monday temperature gets about 80 degrees with lots of sunshine, but then we'll start seeing a bit more of the way of those cloud cover moving into uh, Corvallis, especially early in the morning. And then we'll start seeing some sunshine in the afternoon. Temperatures cooling a little bit more. Cooler even still, but not by a whole lot on Wednesday with sunshine in the region. So the forecast for today, we're going to be looking at, well, generally low 60s along the Oregon coast. More clouds up to the north, a little bit less down to the south. Inland, we're going to be looking at temperatures into the upper 70s for Corvallis and Eugene. A little bit warmer as you head on down towards the south into Roseburg with less cloud cover overall. Again, those morning showers possible into the Cascades and to the Cascade foothills and temperatures into the 60s and 70s. So for the UV index, we're going to be looking at plenty of sun for the next couple of days. But that weak system that moves through on Tuesday, providing a lot more cloud cover. Now, in terms of the winds, we're not going to be looking at anything particularly strong, but Corvallis usually gets that west wind kicking into the afternoon. That should really be the case uh, this afternoon. And that wind will also kick up along the Oregon coast with wind gusts around 20 to 25 miles an hour. Now, this particular model doesn't want to show a lot of wind for, uh, for Monday, but uh, Corvallis could get, get that wind starting to pick up into the afternoon as well ahead of that next system. There's been a little bit of some smoke into the area, into the Willamette Valley, and that'll also continue for the next couple of days as well. Now, the temperatures will be cooler for today with that system moving through the region, but then warmer temperatures start to rebound from the southwest very slowly, but then they start to sink on down towards the south throughout the week. So temperatures are going to kind of go up and down for the next couple of days, but not really by a whole lot. Now, once we get towards the latter part of the week, then a big area of low pressure starts to move in, mostly to the north of the, our region, but it'll actually start to cool things off quite a bit and provide some rain, which will be good news for gardeners and, and of the likes. So here's a forecast for the Oregon coast. Temperatures staying into the 60s for the next several days. Could see some showers on Tuesday. And then a better chance once we get towards the end of the week and into the weekend with temperatures dropping back into the 50s. For the Amqua Basin, we'll be looking at 80s between Sunday and Thursday. Looks like the warmest day will be on Monday. And then we start to cool off back into the 70s for Friday and maybe a little bit of rain by Saturday. Cascades could see some showers this morning. Another chance of some showers possible on Tuesday. And then another chance by Friday and Saturday. Otherwise, we're going to be mostly looking at 50s for high temperatures. And for the Willamette Valley, lows pretty much into the 40s. High temperatures right around 80 degrees for the next couple of days. A little bit cooler on Wednesday. Temperatures come back up just a little bit more on Thursday before dropping off back into the 60s by next weekend.